Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which we are taking from this topic, the question tells us why is summation of k equal to 1 to 6 where expression which is given to us is k cos inverse of 3 by 5 cos kx minus 4 by 5 sin kx. That's your entire expression given. And further we have been told that dy by dx at x equal to 0, what is the value of that entire expression? And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the options that are given us 13, 91, 104, and the last option given is 17. So let's figure out the value of the entire expression that we have here. So if I use the idea, I get this as we have been given y as let's solve that first summation of k equal to 1 to 6. K cos inverse of 3 by 5 cos kx minus 4 by 5 sin kx. 3 by 5 cos kx minus 4 by 5 sin kx. Now one thing I understand from this is since cos inverse is present, I'll try to write this entire expression in terms of cos. So if I try to do that, I know the constants value which are present here 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. If I want to write the entire expression in terms of cos, I should have cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So I can write that as cos of A plus B, right? So I need this to become cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So if I put that as let's say cos A or let's say cos alpha. So let's say cos alpha is 3 by 5. So if I draw my right angle triangle here, keeping this as theta, Cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So adjacent is this. Hypotenuse is this. So we are getting the, let's say the common multiple x which is present is there which is 3x and 5x which makes your adjacent upon hypotenuse side. So adjacent side basically becomes 3x. Hypotenuse side basically becomes 4x. If I apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, let's say A, B, C, I get A, C square is A, B square plus B, C square. So from that idea, I get 5x the whole square is A, B square plus 3x the whole square. So 25x square minus 9x square is A, B square. So A, B square basically becomes 16x square. So with that idea, I get AB turning out to become 4x, taking square root on both sides. I get the third side as 4x. Now if I try to find out sine theta, let's say for this, instead of theta, I should write alpha because we have written that as alpha. So if I write sine alpha for this triangle, it is opposite side upon hypotenuse. So opposite side of alpha is 4x. Hypotenuse is 5x, cancelling x, I get 4 by 5. So you get sine alpha as 4 by 5. So you put 3 by 5 as cos alpha, 4 by 5 becomes sine alpha. If I try to solve this as well, I get y toning out of it. Summation of k equal to 1 to 6. k cos inverse of. 3 by 5, I am writing that as cos alpha, cos kx, minus sin alpha, sin kx. Cos alpha, cos kx, minus sin alpha, sin kx. So I write this entire expression in the terms of cos a, cos b, minus sin a, sin b. That is nothing but the expansion of cos of a plus b. So cos of a plus b is cos a, cos b, minus sin a, sin b. So if I try to write this entire expression in terms of y, I have that as summation of k equal to 1 to 6. k cos inverse of, this basically becomes cos of alpha plus kx. If I try to write this further, I get summation of k equal to 1 to 6. k cos inverse of cos theta. If I try to write that, cos inverse of cos theta, it is nothing but theta. So if I write this, you get k 
and you get this as alpha plus kx. So basically your expression for y becomes summation k equal to 1 to 6 k into alpha plus kx which is k alpha plus k squared. So you have this entire expression given as k alpha plus k square x. If you put all the values of k equal to 1 to 6, you will have 6 expressions for y. But we need to find dy by dx at x equal to 0, right? So let's first find dy by dx. So dy by dx, I'm just taking summation out first. And let's first differentiate this entire expression with respect to x. So k alpha plus k square x if I'm differentiating. Summation, I'll write it as it is. Here, derivative of k alpha with respect to x, since both of them are constant terms, even if I put alpha, it is nothing but cos inverse of 3 by 5, right? Or sine inverse of 4 by 5. That's again a constant value. So this entire expression is a constant. Derivative of a constant is 0. And here I get k square common. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So you get k square into 1. So your entire expression for dy by dx at x equal to 0, it becomes summation of k equal to 1 to 6 and k square. Now here, if you see this x equal to 0, which is asked for, is becoming redundant because your entire expression is independent of x, right? Your entire function is independent of x. So it could have been given x equal to 1, x equal to 2, x equal to any value. You will always have this as your answer because your entire function is independent of x. So it does not matter whether x equal to 0 or x is not equal to 0. Now if I see, I just need to solve this. So I know k goes from 1 to 6. If I use that idea, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square. So you are finding summation of k square for all the values from k equal to 1 to 6. So if I use that idea of 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36. So you get this as 36 and 25 is 61, 70, 86, 90 and 91. So you get this entire expression answer as 91, which is asked to us dy by dx at x equal to c. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, the option that matches here with the question is option B. So B is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question on differentiation. So we just converted our entire expression in the bracket in terms of cos. So we put cos alpha as 3 by 5. We ultimately got sin alpha also as 4 by 5. That converted into cos of A plus B, which is cos of alpha plus Kx. So cos inverse of cos theta gave us theta, that is alpha plus Kx. We multiplied that, k alpha plus k square x. Alpha, since it was a constant, we differentiated with respect to x. That gave us answer as 0. And this becomes k square into derivative of x, which is 1. So you've got summation of k equal to 1 to 6 for the function k square. And when we added putting all the values of k from 1 to 6 here, we got that answer to only not root 92. That matches with option. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on differentiation. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a daily basis. Thank you.